Okay, here we are in uh, downtown Asheville in North Carolina and I'm um, speaking to an old uh, university friend, uh, Suzanne Nieves, and she's been, uh, she's lived out in the, in the West Coast, she's lived, um, we grew up in the in New York City area together, and she's been a life coach and many other things, and I just want to ask her a couple of questions, and one of them is what brought you here. Uh, good, good evening, Suzanne. Good evening, Joe. And happy birthday to oh, you. Thank you. And uh, what birthday did you just celebrate? The big 6-0. The big 6-0, so there she goes, 60 and happy in here in Asheville. And what brought you to this part of the world? When I was living in California, I was traveling back and forth to Colorado, California, Colorado, California. After living 18 years in Colorado, it was familiar. And I knew neither one of those places were for me anymore, so I asked the universe, where do I belong? And I got a phone call from my friend who just bought a house here. And she said, come on down, I have your room ready. And I packed my car and that took whatever fit in my car and I've been here for almost three years. Okay, and so you see, uh, you mentioned before in our conversation off camera about uh, the vo this being a vortex. Yes. And um, so tell me, what's the energy that you feel happening in Asheville and do you feel it reflects a wider, uh, a wider energy change shift in, in our planet? Yes, the energy here is a feminine energy, which is more about nourishment and um, the feminine energy of um, giving, community, taking care of each other. And when I lived in the Rockies, that, those mountains are more of a masculine energy, a lot more uh, self. It's all about self. Uh, here it's more about community and sharing. And uh, it does extend through different parts of the world. There are f similar places like this where people come here you either stay or leave, but not by choice. If you are leaving, it's because you can't find a job, you can't find housing, uh, things are not working out for you. And so people leave. People that stay here, everyone I've met, has a great story of passing through, never left. Yes, that's funny. That sounds very familiar to uh, where we live. It's that same place and it's a giving sort of place so you feel um and the mountains here are more of a feminine energy rather than the rockies is that that may be because they're older more rounded been around they're they're, they're wiser sort of um, mountain range shall we say yes and there's a lot more granite here <clears throat> so the energy of the granite like places like sedona they have the same a similar vibration and it's a healing vibration Right, a healing vibration, and that's obviously what our world is looking for right now is some healing, and, and you're here uh, being part of that, and the universe brought you here for the moment, and I'm glad it brought us together. So, Suzanne, give me a quick wrap-up on, um, you know, where, where do you think our planet's going? Where, where are we going as a people? Where's the human race headed? I see that we are going to come back to the collective, and um, coming back to the way we used to live when we looked out for each other, we did the barter system, uh, just like Burning Man happens where there's no money exchange, it's gifted, everything's gifted, so you do something for me and I in exchange pay it forward and do something nice for someone else and um, etc. So it's, it's more of a sharing and caring about each other rather than the illusion of separation. Well there we go, thank you Suzanne and there we have it. Uh, humanity's heading for a more community the way we used to live, and I, I think uh, that echoes in a lot of places like this around the world. Thank you. This is Joe signing off from Telemann Brown from Asheville, North Carolina. Have a good night. Peace out.